Look at this. Look at this green. It is almost spring. Spring. I'm trying to get my eyes. Deal with it. <laughs> I think you had the two pairs of glasses. Deal with it. Hey guys, welcome to my video. The first thing I want to mention is how important it is to wash your hands. Uh, ducks can carry diseases like Salmonella, which can make us sick, but more importantly, we carry diseases like Staphylococcus aureus, which can make ducks sick or even kill them. So please be sure that anyone participating has washed their hands with soap and hot water before and after feeding any type of bird. Hey guys, today I want to share with you some important information about how to feed a duck. I love ducks and I've been feeding them my whole life. Unfortunately, I used to feed them with Cheerios or bread, which is really bad for them. It's bad for their environment, it's bad for their health. Um, white bread is even bad for us. So, so today I'm going to tell you which foods are best to feed a duck if you are going to feed them at all. Some good alternatives to bread and cereal are barley and oats, unshelled bird seed if you have sunflower seeds make sure that they are not roasted or salted uh, defrosted sweet peas and corn kernels and washed grapes uh, be sure to cut the grapes in half or squeeze them with your fingers uh, to make sure the ducks don't choke on them I think our friends are ready to eat they look a little impatient because I stopped throwing some stuff a little while ago okay guys okay So, some of the things you're going to want to remember is that whole grain or anything with yeast, uh, if it's not eaten, can stay in the pond and develop a sort of fungus or mold, and it can attract other wildlife, rats, anything with parasites. We don't want that. You don't want to uh, destroy a bird's habitat. You also don't want to overfeed them or feed them too often because it gets them to rely on you. But by that standard, we shouldn't be hiring butchers to kill our meat and chefs to cook our food. And we have to live like animals too. Uh, besides, you know, if we were really making them depend on us, they'd be following us home. And that just never happens. But, uh, but it is nice to contribute to nature and, you know, give them a nice snack from time to time. You never know what their life is like. Maybe they just needed this one good day. So, my dad once told me that when he was a kid, uh, he went to the Phoenix Zoo, and back in the day, about the 60s, um, there were small candy vending machines on the boardwalk, right where you would throw food to the turtles and the fish and the ducks. So in these vending machines, they would put like Cheerios and literally trick cereal, like sugary cereals, and you'd pay a nickel and get a handful of cereal to feed the ducks. And a lot of birds were dying in that area, and they had some scientists come and cut open all the birds and find out what was killing them, and they had all this color dye and gross yeasty buildup in their stomachs, and they were dying from all the food, all the cereal that people were feeding them. So uh, people have known about how bad human food can be for animals for a very long time, but it hasn't stopped people from constantly bringing over loaves of bread and feeding these ducks the wrong food with no nutritional value. So that's just a story that stuck with me for a long time, and uh, I'm glad these ducks get the healthy meal instead. So one thing you definitely don't want when you're feeding your ducks is to get them too overcrowded. So if you ever see a space where there's no ducks, throw, throw your food right there and scatter it about a bit so they have room. Basic knowledge.
Good job. Good job. You were shy at first. My last bit of information for you guys for this video is to not leave trash wherever you are feeding your birds. Pick it all up. And um, also, try not to get too much seed onto the ground. Like, you know, it happens. But uh, then they come up and they start eating the mud, and you don't want that. So definitely try and keep your uh, feeding session very tidy and out in the water and less on the land because uh, they'll have an easier time eating it out of the water than if they did on land. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> In order to prevent overfeeding one group of ducks, we thought we'd come to a second duck pond and share the food with the rest of these guys. Um, same concept applies, wash your hands, make sure you got the right food, and uh, another big thing is try to get your food as far out into the water as possible, because if it ends up on the dirt, they're going to be eating the dirt, and you know, just... I was really happy though, uh, the girl who sold us this bird seeds at the pet store, uh, was really happy to know we were making an informational video about this. She was pretty glad. She even said thank you. Like, who thanks another person for something that's not even for them, you know? It's, it's for everybody, and she seemed to care about it as much as I did. Also, at the other pond, there was a woman coming up with her son, and I think they had some Cheerios on them, and they were getting ready to feed the ducks, too. And I just told them we were making a a video about how to feed them properly and we gave her the second half of my can of oats so that they could go feed the ducks as well. So I'm glad to be sharing this information with you guys and uh, hopefully you never feed ducks bread again. <laughs> so they're really eating up this corn. So if you are going to throw any food on land, make sure it's something that's kind of big enough for them to eat up without getting too much dirt in their mouth. But for the most part, you definitely want to throw it out on the water. Some of these birds uh, don't seem too into being into the water right now, so, so I thought I'd throw some their way too. But you never want to get too much on the ground. We got some fishermen coming out. And I'm sure what's not being eaten by the ducks is definitely being appreciated by the by the fish. 
probably eat anything. This is my idea of a day off. Like, what's wrong with feeding some ducks, you know? It's a good day for them, it's a good day for us. Okay, so the moral of today's story is a healthy duck is a happy duck. So if you ever do see someone feeding ducks bread and cereal, uh, maybe, hopefully if you have some of these ingredients with you, you can offer some to them and educate them on what's healthy and what's not healthy for a duck to eat. Um, please share this information with your friends and like and subscribe and all that jazz. Uh, thanks for watching.